Good morning, everybody. We are ready to pick up where we left off on our ELA 9B essay. We are writing a personal narrative about overcoming a challenge. You could always review our videos that we've done up until this point. Um, we started off writing a little bit about what a personal narrative was about, uh, and we discussed that and how it was defined on the Purdue Writing Lab. We then went ahead and we um, outlined some different types of challenges that we could have in our lives and tried to brainstorm a good idea to write about. And then last week we looked at sample essays. We looked at other essays people had written to help give us inspiration. So this week we're going to start working a little bit on our introductory paragraph. And one way I like to start an introductory paragraph sometimes is to pick a quote that relates to um, what I'm writing about. So me over here and we're gonna go to Google and right here I could write um, quotes about overcoming and you can see it's already filled in several words for challenges obstacles adversity challenges fears uh, I'm gonna say challenges that was the word we set out for and I always kind of like to look at the images I don't know maybe I'm just because I'm a Pinterest girl but we have all of these different quotes that relate to overcoming challenges. So believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside you that is greater than any obstacle. Uh, smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. Um, in the depth of winter, I finally learned within me there lay an invincible summer. Um, see, although the world is suffering, uh, it is also full of the overcoming of it. Oh, I like that one a lot. Excuse me. Speaking of overcoming challenges, Miss Bonnie did not sleep well last night, so I apologize for any yawning you hear. I think it's just this crazy weather. So, gosh, I really, I kind of really like this Helen Keller quote. So I think that that's what I'm going to use to introduce my essay. So we're going to go back over here to this pre-writing, this list of stuff we've done. I'm just going to start my introductory paragraph here, and I'm going to say that exact quote was... Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. Um, actually, we'll start with Helen Keller once said, although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of the overcoming of it. Have you ever suffered until you could overcome a personal challenge in your life? I know I have. I have struggled with my weight and healthy eating habits for most of my life. Um, so right here, like we've been shown in the past, we've taken our quote. We're kind of letting that quote introduce our idea. And then I go ahead and I kind of break down the quote for you by relating it to you saying, have you ever suffered until you could overcome a personal challenge in your life? I know I have. Um, and, I, and then this is the thesis. This is the, you know, bread and butter of the paper. I have struggled with my weight and healthy eating habits for most of my life. There are, there were many years that I was a healthy weight only to fall back into bad habits and also say only to fall back into bad habits. Um, for me, eating is a stress reliever, and I had to learn how to eat healthy, or um, how to eat, I'll say, in moderation. Now, why did I take healthy out of there? Part of it is because I already know I've said healthy a bunch of times. I've said healthy eating habits, and then I've said healthy weight. Um, I'm just going to take healthy out of this one because then it doesn't sound so repetitive. Um, for me, eating is a stress reliever and I had to learn how to eat in moderation in order to um, be 
the best version of myself. I swear that Google knows what I say because of my voice. So this is a nice way to get started. We have a nice little intro here. And I kind of like that for me, eating is a stress reliever and I had to learn how to eat in moderation to be the best version of myself. So this can help introduce me to the next paragraph where I start to talk about what maybe eating in moderation is, okay? Um, but basically, this is going to give you that um, backbone that you need for the rest of your paper. So for today, we are going to finish it up here by myself. For today, we are going to stop right there because I don't like to overwhelm you guys. And then next week, we will start going into our second paragraph and we'll start to take some of the information that we have in our pre-writing and get it into the body of the paragraph like we've done in the past. So I want to thank you for being with me today. Um, I know that this is kind of a crazy time since we're all going to be sent home on quarantine again. But you guys know where to find me on my cell phone and I want you all to stay healthy and safe and we're going to get through this together, okay? I'll see you next week. Bye.